Joe, it, one of the biggest moves in the offseason that really didn't get the headlines maybe it should have was that Willie Fritz is going back to the state of Texas and he's going to Houston to take over the Cougars now that Dana Holgerson is out. Your first-year expectations for the Houston Cougars. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be the case for a lot of Big 12 teams. I, I think there's a huge opening for a lot of programs to have really good years in 2024 to go at a five at 500 a little bit above 500. I don't know if Willie Fritz is the type of guy that's going to hit the ground running in the first year, especially when the roster that he's taking over is pretty light and it got picked apart in the transfer portal before he could like really sink his teeth in and get there. A lot of the top guys either moved on to the NFL, all conference players moved on to to other teams entered in the transfer portal. I will say this, though. I like the fact that they were aggressive in adding a lot of linebackers in the transfer portal, a lot of defensive players in the transfer portal, especially because we know that Willie Fritz is a developer of defensive talent. It is going to be a difficult path for a team like Houston to go above 500 because they have a tough schedule. But I, I think 6-6 six and six is an accomplishable feat for somebody like Willie Fritz to get to. I got a very, very, very hot take here. Are you ready? Oh, no. Oh, no. I think there's only realistically three games that you completely throw them out that they have no shot in. Other than that, they're in every game because of Willie Fritz. Uh, I'd say four. Oklahoma, Kansas, Kansas State, and Utah. I'd say four. But the rest, yeah, I mean, the rest are all winnable games. All right, fair. That's why I'm saying six and six. Fair. Well, let me give old Willie Fritz this, because to your point, he brought in three players from Tulane, okay? Corey Platt Jr., the linebacker, going to be an NFL dude. He ain't going to be high up on your board, Joe. He's not going to be high on anybody's board. He's got very high instincts. Okay, I I look at Keith Cooper, also the defensive lineman from Tulane. He's coming in. I think he's a very underrated player. I know that there were SEC teams looking at him very closely to bring him in. I'm not going to say which ones, but very much looked into him. Kentrell Webb, the safety, also a kid from Tulane who can play here, Joe, or play in what would be the Big 12. He also gets another safety in uh, Hershey McLaurin, from West Virginia. Joe, they did add pieces, okay? The question is going to be also Makai Muse, who I think is a Mm. very big spark plug for them. Oh, and got Michael uh, Batten, too. I I do think, to your point, Joe, he he brought in a lot of players on the defense, but Willie Fritz has done a really good job everywhere he's gone, even offensively. I do think he's one of the most underrated coaches in the country, I also believe that he is going to win games that he has no business winning, okay? Like maybe, you know, you look at a Kansas State, Joe, he has they have no business winning that game. But you know what I also have seen? Him do it Tulane and everywhere he's gone, win a big game year one that he's never he wasn't supposed to win. So the question becomes, quite honestly, if we go based off of his track record, not maybe if he upsets somebody, the question might be, Joe, who does he upset? Because this has happened with him everywhere he's gone. And Tulane, of all people, Joe, there are Michael, healthy Michael Pratt away from beating Ole Miss last year. I, I mean, he out yeah. Lane Kiffin. They're, they out coached Lane Kiffin. Lane didn't have a, a chance in hell. Okay. Offensively, they couldn't run the ball, they were doing different things on the, against them defensively. I do think it's fair to say six and six. Joe, I think that this conference is way too weak for to make that assumption. I agree with you with Oklahoma, Kansas, Kansas State, Utah. That might be fine. But everybody else, Joe, there's a high possibility they can beat everybody else and be eight and four. Here's my only thing, though. What has been – what has helped him be successful is recruiting low-star recruits and then developing them into really good starters and eventually NFL players. Ty J. Spears – Dorian Williams, Michael Pratt, uh, Jaquin and Jackson. A lot of these guys just slow, slow development, and then eventually they turn out to be like unbelievable players at the G5 level, some of the best G5 players in the country. I just think a coach like that 
who's not really like an on-field, not saying he's a bad on-field coach, but what has made him so great at every stop that he's had is roster development. And typically guys like that, coaches like that, it takes them a couple of years before they really hit the ground running. I think six and six would be a huge accomplishment with how mediocre they were for the past couple of years under Dana, Dana Holgerson. I think if we're just being realistic, it's probably going to take them a couple of years before they can really start going, you know, seven and five, eight and four and all that stuff. I don't know. I don't know if I'm there with you. You think that they're going to go, they're going to do better than that. No, I, I'm well, I'm not going to like sell my soul that they'll do better. What I will sell my soul on is they're going to beat somebody that they're not supposed to. And you know what this, you know what the shitty thing about this is we're talking about this in March and I'm going to say this and, and they're going to do it in the season and I'm going to completely forget about it. That's the only bad thing about this take is that now I will probably forget about this and they're going to beat like a Kansas state. Okay. When they had no business beating them, and I'm uh -huh. going to forget about this and be like, you should have come to the Rafino and Joe show because Willie Fritz just upset it can't upset Kansas State. I mean, if you look at his progression, and this is a two lane in the American, four and eight, five and seven, and then seven and six in years. Two lane was in a much worse place than Houston is right now. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. Dana Holgerson much ran that place. thing into the ground. Joe, they, they, they ran that well, into the ground. Oh, uh, no. Two lane wasn't winning games, buddy. They were getting blown yeah. out. Yeah, they were dog shit. I know, I know that they were bad. I understand no. that they were bad. They were the worst team in the state. I don't think that's that much of a – there's not that many D1 Joe, there's programs. like seven FCS teams. They were getting they were getting beat, or by one score, they were hanging on to win by. Like uh, Northwestern State, for crying out loud. Uh, but, okay, I, under, I understand that. I also think that, that the level of competition is a lot different in the Big 12 than it is in the American. Uh, I, I think that there are much better it, athletes that make it harder to get wins on a weekly basis in the Big 12 than it is in the American. He still got Big 12 type athletes though. Not everybody left. Yeah, he I mean he does he does, but again, they they are pretty cleaned out from the draft or from Guys hopping in the portal. I mean, their best defensive lineman, um, shit. Well, who was it? Oh, Jamory Caldwell is leaving to go to Texas. He was an all. It was an all conference player. Like that's a really good example of somebody that he needed to keep. Nelson Caesar's going to the NFL. Patrick Paul's going to the NFL. That's an edge rusher and in your starting left tackle. I don't even know who their quarterback is. Well, they got Zion Chris from the portal. We'll have to see if he if he can make it. Yeah, I mean, it's a good point. We'll have to wait and see. You're probably right. Maybe I'm a little bit too high on Willie Fritz, then maybe I should. Yeah, you just um, love your boy that's from from Louis that was in Louisiana. That's why. No, actually, the truth is I should be a very big Willie Fritz uh hater because he was in the Southern Conference when I was, and they ran they ran shit. Oh, was it when he was was it Sam Houston? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was Sam Houston. Remember Sam Houston, if I'm not mistaken, went to the playoffs with him multiple times. And if I'm not mistaken, either competed for a national title or won a national title. Wait, what year were you at, at South? 08, he was there to 08 to 2012. Oh, yeah, he was 2010-2013. Mm -hmm. Bet Online remains your top spot for all of your live betting action and contests. NFL, college football, UFC, NHL are all in full swing. Bet online is your number one source for wagering news, odds, trends, and predictions with both desktop and mobile access at any time. Head to Bet Online today and use promo code Believe. That's B L E A V for fifty percent off your first deposit. That is a fifty percent welcome bonus. Bet online, where the game starts. <laughs> 